Hello guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to episode 64 of One Man and His Boat. Are you ready? I certainly am. So guys, a very warm welcome to part two of bottom painting. Um, yes, I had to break it down into two parts last week because I was just running out of editing space. I really was. The, if I kept it as one video, you would have been an hour and 20 minutes easily. And nobody wants to sit and listen to me Twitter on for that long. Do you? Do you really? No, you're talking wet. <laughs> anyway guys, I would just like to say thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us guys. I hope you enjoy the journey as much as the guys that have already been following us from the start. And obviously you guys are just, oh, glorious. Absolutely glorious. Thank you so much. Honestly, this channel would not happen without you guys. So make sure you tune in every week. You see how far we're getting on with the boat and the difficulties of actually getting this boat to sea. And you know it's no part of the build. The build's the easy bit. It's getting past the government, it's the hard bit. Ooh, yes, and I did say that. I'm not afraid to say it, and I will tell the government straight to their face. That's the kind of guy I am. Right, let's get on with this week's show, shall we? So guys, where are we painting the bottom of the boat? Well, I've actually ran out of paint. Yes, that was more my fault than anything else, but I didn't know I was actually getting half a tin when I bought a full tin of paint. Bad show, Hempel. Uh, and another thing, it didn't actually quite adhere to the boat the way it should have done. So, it could have just been because it was a fresh roller. I mean, the rest of the boat doesn't seem as bad, but the front end where I started isn't as good. So, I've actually ordered more paint. That should be here before uh, Tuesday. It is now Friday. So, it looks like I've got a long weekend day twiddling my thumbs. Yes, I can get on with other jobs on the boat, but that's going to create stour. And with the sign writer coming at any moment, soon i don't really want to get the boat too dusty uh, for him to start working so i might have a weekend off no that i want to have a weekend off but there you are it is what it is eh um, oh also i wasn't quite happy with the finish that i got with the lambs wool rollers so i've ordered new types of rollers hopefully we'll see that when they arrive and that'll make a finer finish uh, I'm hoping using the new rollers in the next layer that will smooth things off just that little bit because this just seems a bit too bumpy for my liking. Uh, also, we're just waiting on Storm Ellen coming through so it could be interesting in the next 24 hours, that's for sure. <laughs> I have no idea why the name Storms nowadays. Obviously somebody in the office yet again twiddling their thumbs, nothing else to think of. Eh? Back in my day, it was Autumn Storms, get what I mean? You know, they were never named. I don't know. Right, okay. Well, what we need to get on with now is I've got one tin left and we need to get the other side done. So that's what I'm going to crack on with. But first... Just look at this mess. Look at it. I'm absolutely tripping up over myself. So... Ta-da! All nice and clean. Ready for use. You know you gotta shake it. You gotta shake it like you mean it. You gotta shake it like you want it. Last tin to Tuesday. That's what? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Before it arrives and it'll be late Tuesday. I'm feeling like that guys, sorry. It just feels like everything seems to be dragging their heels again. We were getting on fine for a wee while. But there you go, that's boat building, it never goes according to plan. You could have the best, put it on a sheet, get it all ticked off. But there's always somebody that's going to bugger it up for you. Covid done that for me. But we're getting through it. Right, we're we'll going to stop talking, stop shaking and start stirring. In the beginning, 
God said, let there be light. And there was. Da -da -da. we can get the rest of the boat done with this. If no, we're up. Take the foot of paddle. Leopard Crowan, Army, GTN style.
Right guys, unfortunately that's the paint used up, that's everything I can do, have a wee look see. Yeah, lovely. And if I haven't, I've knackered up in the last episode with bottom painting. Then maybe I've already got all that finished. So all we're going to do now is take the tape off and give us a lovely clean line. That's it till Tuesday. See you later guys. Hi there guys, it's Monday morning here on One Man and His Boat. I had a lovely weekend off, uh, but during that weekend, one of our viewers contacted me and made me aware of something that I think uh, should be shared with you guys. Now this is more for the UK guys only, and especially those of you that are building boats. Um, it's all to do with the a MCA and the Seafish crossover. And the MCA have got a consultation on the go, yay! We know how much we love a consultation from the MCA. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, give you the information about it. I'm in two minds for it to give you my opinion about it. <laughs> However, we'll go through the process and I'll see how I feel by the end of the spiel. Right guys, this consultation is for the uh, under 15 metres and below. Now. What I've been to, well, what's on their website is uh, it started on the 17th of August 2020 and it'll be finishing on the 18th of November 2020. And basically, what it is is for they're going over the sections from Seafish and filling in the gaps really for what they want to put in. Now, a government website being a government website, I've actually had a read through it and some of it is very vague as per normal and some of it is quite actual. Yeah, they've got a point. So, have a wee look at it, guys. I think there's about 10 questions in there. Um, and it's written like a lawyer's letter as per normal, you know. We're all fishermen. Get it in your head, guys. But because if you're building boats, this this is, this is comes through the horse's mouth, actually. Because you're building a boat, even though you're a fisherman, you're still classed as a boat builder. So you've got to know everything that a boat builder knows. There we go, and uh, MCA is no any different. So what are they saying in their consultation? Well, they're going for water tight integrity and weather tight integrity. They're going for stabilities and a uh, survey inspection. Sorry, I'm looking at it as I'm doing it here, guys. And, oh aye, machinery and electrical installations. They do, you'll need a certificate for that as well. Um, fire protection, uh, protection on personnel. And then mandatory standards implemented through the primary legislation. What? Yeah, I know what it means, but a lot of people don't. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of 17 pages and there's only like two pages of questions. So the usual government stuff. Oh, oh, there's a thing. Doesn't it matter? No, in fact, I'll tell you at the end of my spiel. There we go. Right. Right, guys, what does Baz think about this consultation? Well, we've had consultations before. Right, we proof of the pudding. Life raft. Consultation. Nobody ever knew about it. Everything's now mandatory. EPUB. Yeah. Consultation. Yay! We've, we've asked the boys. We've asked them what, what they want. It's now law. Wearing a life jacket, which is very important. I'll give them their due. This is the one that I, I give them thumbs up on. That was a consultation. It's now law. And it's the same with this one, guys. It doesn't matter if you're right in or not. They've made their mind up anyway because whatever the findings are, they're releasing it on the 30th of the 4th, 2021. And that's it. It's not going to be law. So basically everything that they've got on that sheet, that's what they're going to do anyway. So... We're at the bottom of the pile, guys. Nothing's ever going to change. We've just got to suck up and deal with it. Um, once again, for everybody that doesn't know about fishing and stuff like that, this is the kind of political 
mess that we've got to put up with. More expense, more costs. Yes, it is for safety within reason. However, when you, they're charging £147 per visit, and it starts with when they leave their home, not actually when it gets to your boat, that's when you've got to ask questions. Who the hell charges £147 an hour? I'm starting to rant. <laughs> Sorry. But... This is the kind of stuff that fishermen have got to put up with on a daily and it's not about catching fish anymore, it's all about filling out the log sheets, get, keeping the yins in an office happy and we're sick of it, we're pig sick of it and things need to start changing. Right, calm down Baz, time to rattle on. So guys, what are we going to do today? Well, the paint's still not arrived, it is Monday, I did say Monday, Tuesday sort of thing. However, um, I need to do something because I'm bored. <laughs> two days off is just two days too many as far as I can see. Uh, anyway, what I want to do today is there's still sections in the boat that aren't painted. That's where the blocks are. So we need to support the, bo the boat at the bulge keels. Then we'll take the other blocks away and get it prepped for the paint when the paint arrives. And we'll get the bits done first before we give it a second coat. Yay! So, we shut up at long last <laughs> and we're going to get on with it oh sorry guys what I wanted to also say is thank you to Kenneth Ross for that information from the MC consultation and uh, very kind of you Kenny to be in, get in contact thank you very much pal and obviously you guys can thank Kenny as well because without him giving us that little hint we wouldn't have known about that um, Basically, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can have a look for yourselves, make your own minds up and do what you want to do. But I know my opinion. We're at the bottom of the pile, guys, and nothing's ever going to change. I mean, who governs the government, eh? I know the Supreme Court's meant to, but they're just as corrupt as everybody else in this country. So, there you are. I've said it. Everybody's thinking it. I told you I'd, I'd, I'd say what I want. <laughs>
I'm never ever keen on doing it like this. You know, Barry overbuild, over protection, over safety. However, that's the best thing, a bad bunch of now. Yes, I can move it to different spots on it, but we really need to get on with this and get it done. And I think the blocks of wood are chunky enough to keep the weight of the boat up. Because most of the weight's on the, the keel anyway. That's just there for balance.
ったらイエーイ And here we go again. <laughs> Round two.
safety first. No, no, no. You guys get to see this later. Right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that? Doesn't she look fantastic? I really do think so. But if you think this is going to be good, wait until next week's episode where I've actually got the sign writer to come and paint her name and numbers on her. How do I know that's going to be that for the episode? Because he's only two days away and he's all prepped, ready to rock and roll. So all we need is for Thomas Paints to turn up. Uh, I'll introduce him next week. And that's going to be one interesting video, I can assure you that, guys. So stay tuned for that. So without further ado, if you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Please write a comment below if you have any questions and definitely subscribe to the channel guys. This channel will not grow without subscriptions so I need you to do the right thing and click that subscribe button and tick the notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed my friends. Right, until next week's episode, it's going to be a cracker. All the very best my friends, have a good one. So welcome to another episode, uh, this is part two. So guys, a very warm welcome to episode two of Paint in the Bottom of the... Episode two? Uh, yes, I did see it and I'm not a... That's not too bad. Right. Right guys, unfortunately that's the paint boot. Good morning guys. It's Monday morning here on One Man and His Boat. Had a lovely weekend off. Um, I was contacted by one... Good morning guys. It's Monday morning here on One Man and His Boat. Had a lovely weekend off. Whereas I've been contacted, I had a lovely weekend off and now this consultation is basically the MCA want to know from you guys exactly what the what you want. This is the MCA wanting to know from you guys exactly what, ah, and it's corrupt. It really is corrupt. There's rules for sums and rules for sums. It's kind of dreich anyway. It's dreich means wet, by the way, for all you. <coughs> dreich means. Oh, oh, my voice is away. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. I forgot to say earlier on. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Kenneth Ross for that information of the MC inspections uh, consultation. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm not having a good day of the day at all. Oh, I forgot to say, I'll leave it as, uh, yeah, you can make your own minds up whether you want to do something or not, but you know the score. Eh, we get shafted all the time. Eh, uh, without his input then I wouldn't have known about it because obviously I'm past my sea fish, so that for the rest of you <laughs> No, but on all seriousness, so, um, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, I've been diagnosed with worse, mate. <laughs> yeah, that 
light camera. Look at the heat light camera. Is that actually in focus? That's pretty good. Hey. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that? Makes her look good, doesn't it? it? Certainly does. If you think that's uh, looking good now, wait till next week's episode where we've got actually got the sign writer coming down. Right ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that? Doesn't she look wonderful? If you think this is good, wait until next week's episode where we've got the sign writer coming down to actually paint the name and numbers on her. How do I know that? Because he's only two days away for me. Oh look, there's the... Right ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that? Doesn't she look fantastic? Well ladies and gentlemen, in one take! <laughs>